Oh, wow. One of the greatest things that people are afraid of today is, what is my future? Well, I'm going to give you your future because Jesus was talking to his disciples one day and he says, don't let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me and my father's house. There are many mansions. If it weren't so high... I would tell you so, but I go to prepare Amen. a place for you. What's he been doing the last 2,000 years? Amen. Preparing a place for you. A Hallelujah. mansion. <laughs> wow. Hallelujah. That, I mean, there's no mansion in this world to even come close <laughs> to what you have if you allow him to be your Lord. Amen. And I, I love, especially when we jump down to verse 6, one of the most important verses in the Bible, John 14, 6. Yeah. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, the, the, truth, the, life. the life. No one comes to the Father any other Amen. way but by Amen. Me. Amen. And it's so easy for you to just accept him as your Lord and Savior. Yes. But I'm not good enough. Oh, he's the one that does the cleansing. Amen. <laughs> the moment you come to him, you're totally cleansed. Hallelujah. And you got that abundant life that you can start living Praise at the that Lord. time. Hallelujah. I know about abundant life because, man, he's given us so much. But the greatest thing, he gave me my sweetie. And I got her here today, <laughs> too. My Praise Wendy the Lord. Lynn Praise Adams. The Lord. Mrs. Adams. Ah, I yes. love that part of the title. <laughs> you know, David, you were just talking about to heaven, but and uh, it says if, if if the person you know you want to take and really read about heaven, you can go into First Corinthians two nine, mm -hmm. where it says it is written, "I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the hearts of man, the things which God hath prepared for them that love Him." Ooh, Amen. That's right. God so loved us so that we get to love Him. Amen. And return. And I'll tell you, once you meet God, you love Him. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> we got one. Oh, wow. Do we have a guest today? Yes. Uh, Wendy, do you want to tell about our friend? I have known Mel here. Oh, my gosh. Mel Novak, is, is, he's, he's just a house word. What can I say? <laughs> I, I go see his movies. This man is, he, he's got so much in him. You know, it's like bubbles over. He is a uh, Christian. He has a ministry. He, uh, he does a lot of Christian movies as well as the other movies. But this man, I mean, he goes out to where the people are really hurting. He goes to the prisons. He goes to the jailhouses where nobody would go. You know, Jesus, when Jesus was here on earth, he went to the highways and the byways. He didn't just go into a, a nice uh, synagogue or anything like that. He went out there where they needed him. Amen. And Mel, I love you. Talk about yourself, please. <laughs> well, the main thing is I have, uh, I'm serving the Lord. I've been, uh, Easter's Resurrection Day was my 34-year anniversary of uh, ministering in, in Skid Row, which is a prison without bars. And then uh, this coming June will be my 32-year serving prisons and penitentiaries all over the country. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And I've been to Pelican Bay 10 times, which is the worst one in the country. And uh, it's a calling. Mm -hmm. uh, when I went to the Union Rescue Mission uh, 34 years ago, it was as a celebrity. But the CEO saw me ministering to all the street people. That's how it started, the Union Rescue Mission, L.A. Mission, Fred Jordan Mission. Then one of the 
it, one of the guys in a spiritual growth program at the Union Rescue Mission, he just got out of county jail. So he called the chaplain, who's a Bruce Lee fan. Oh, yes. And says, well, the guy who played Stick, the assassin from Game of Death, is here. So I got to preach there. And then from there, I, all over the country, I've been ministering. And uh, yeah, I've done 30 movies starring, co-starring. But uh, my love is serving the Lord. Matthew 20, 28, Mark 10, 45, we're all called to serve. Amen. And thank God for my, my calling. And I watch, I'm in awe of what God's doing. Since 2013, January, there's been a revival in the prisons. Yay! Yes. I've been getting 93 to, to 100% praying the sinner's prayer, the mm. salvation prayer. Woo. And I use yes. probably 100 scriptures in every sermon. I preach Christ crucified. Amen. And I don't care what someone says about me. Acts 5.29, I need God's approval, not man's. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But the thing is, it's like the five movies I did this past year, I led two of the directors to the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, exactly. Lord. Exactly. That's why, that's why God gave me that, because he knows I'm bold. Uh -huh. <laughs> really bold. <laughs> and when it comes but, to uh, Jesus, wow. We don't know, back down. There's nothing like serving the Lord. You know, I, I, I've done all these movies. I, I was a member of the Academy Went to uh, Academy Awards seven times, played pro baseball, model, but it all pales to just go and win souls. That's right. That's my passion. Amen. And it never, it never wanes. Every year it gets, it increases. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, I love my Lord and I serve my Lord. And uh, there was a lady on Skid Row I've known for a long time. She said, are you going to retire? I said, to do what? <laughs> I'm going to retire when I stop breathing. Amen. <laughs> but this guy does his own uh, stunts and things Fights like and that. Fights and stunts, yeah. yeah. I mean, don't you know how to die? <laughs> I've died 19 times in a movie, but uh, <laughs> it's like in Game of Death. That fight was from 8 at night to late in the morning in the rain. And that was a tough. But the director who took me, he told the cinematographer who told me, he says, man, I'm sure glad I brought Mel. He gave me more than I even wanted. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole key. Uh, sure, I do a lot of acting. I do this. But I average 21 services a month. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I do. That's right. And it, it's, it's a war, 2 Corinthians 10, 3. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Yes, but right. I'm behind enemy lines. Like that's you right. said, let the devil know. Here we come by the... By the blood of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus, Amen. in the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. and his name. Mm -hmm. Power in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen? Philippians 2, 9, Ephesians 1, 20 through 23. God highly exalted in the name of Jesus. What? Above all names Ain't and all above. things. Yes. On the earth, beneath the earth, above the earth. So I've had people say, well, aren't you afraid when you go? No. <laughs> no. I, I'm going in there with angels, Psalm 34, 7. That's That's right. Right. Psalm 9, yeah. and I ask God, give me the big ones. <laughs> yes, he does. But... He equips me and he protects me. There's been, there's been some times it's very hairy. Oh, you yes. Know, uh, knives, and we had a stabbing last week and it went lockdown, which really ticked me off because mm. there were souls I lost because uh, you know, they, they went for the jugular. You think these guys went, met, went to medical school, they know where they to stab. They know where, don't they? Yeah. But they learn this, it in prison. This is, uh, even when, I, when I'm on a movie set, you know, I got my Bible. God's Jesus. word is alive and proper, sharpening oh, yes. two-edged sword, Hebrews 4.12. And it is alive. And it Amen. is powerful. And there's nothing like, this is when I, when I counsel, you know, I had 60 scholarships in football all over the country, major universities. But I signed a pro baseball contract with Pittsburgh Pirates. And, you know, short stop, weren't you? Yeah. And then a year later, uh, I'm a cripple. I went from a world-class athlete to a cripple. Yes. They butchered me. I was crippled five years. And, uh, Thank God he had his hand on me. I struggled, Jesus. but I never drank or did drugs. And me neither. Never yeah, will. Praise the Lord. You know, we got to thank God for it. I spent a lot of time Free in of praise. You know, I was diagnosed with cancer, prostate cancer, about 10 years ago. Jeez. And a doctor, he told me, I said, wow. I said, well, praise the Lord. He said, excuse me? I said, you know, First Thessalonians 5.18 said, In everything give thanks. This is the will Amen, of God in Christ Jesus. Why did I praise him? Not for the cancer. Second Chronicles 20.15 and 1 Samuel 17.47. God said, The battle's mine. Mm 
Ooh. Exodus fourteen fourteen. You keep your peace, Mel. I'll fight your battle. Glory. Kind of walking by, yes. by the way. And too. I did hey, not yeah. get. I wouldn't get chemo, radiation, nothing, because yeah. I heard the Lord, Amen. the sweet voice say. When I went home, I looked online, and it was all intrusive and evasive. And I went like this, Lord, Lord, I don't want to do this. I heard that sweet voice. Just trust me, Mel. Uh -huh. Just trust me. That's what faith is, F-A-I-T-H. Forsaking all, I trust him. Woo. That's what I did. Yes. I just trust. And there were, at Pelican Bay, you had five lifers. We'll never, ever get out. They had 100 years, 150 years. They prayed for me every day. <laughs> and when... when, when Chaplain Lou told them, I don't have cancer anymore. They put their hands in very praise and worship. Jeez, it's See, that was awesome. And when that used was to humbling. heal the cancer? We yeah, know I that. Know. Daughters I remember, to yeah. Cancer See, the name of Jesus ago. is above cancer. That's Absolutely. right. So if anybody out there has any kind of cancer, tumors, nodules, growths, Matthew 15, 13. Listen to this man. What God has not planted, he will uproot. Mm -hmm. In Exodus 23, 25, he says, I will take sickness from the midst of you. Jeremiah 33, 6, <laughs> I will heal them, I will bring health and healing, oh, I will reveal yes. to them the abundance of mercy and truth. This is what you've got to go to the Word. Jesus Christ is called the Word of God, Revelation 19, 13. And people need to spend time in that Word. That's you right. Gotta, there's billions of Bibles in the world, most of them collecting dust. That's right, that's right. If you want to know the Scripture, by the way, you go to Mel's website, you must have... What, 150 <laughs> scriptures on there? I yeah. mean, I, I, went, I went into it last night about midnight, and I, wow, verse after verse after verse, and the prayer that he has there for deliverance. I, as man, I got to have that prayer that he yeah, did. I brought you one. Verse after verse. He brought it. I got yeah. it here now. You know, Look you, out, devil. Look out, devil. We're coming right. after you with the word you know, of devil God. The devil has no authority or power. That's right. Except what people give him. He got, a, right. he got a POW camp, prisoners of war. You know who's in there? People don't have time for prayer, don't have That's time right. for the word, don't have time for praise, don't dress for the battle. There's no, no locks or bars, but my people perish for lack of knowledge, Hosea 4, 6. That's right. It all comes back to the word. Oh, the that's word. Right. Amen. This is how when I counsel, I just listen and the Holy Spirit, I don't do nothing aside from the Holy Spirit. Nothing. Mm, no. No. Holy Spirit, have your way. Overflow me with your spirit that I might glorify Jesus Christ. Yes, if you Hallelujah. want an overview of what God will do through you, spiritual warfare, just Amen. go to Ephesians Amen. chapter Amen. 6. Yes. I mean, it, well, that's a quickie of the thing, but the whole Bible is you win, God wins, devil loses. Amen. <laughs> the thing like is, that. it's a command to pray your spiritual armor on. Ephesians 6, 10 says, Be strong in the Lord, power of His might. In verse 11, it says, Put on your whole armor. Why? It's, Amen. So you can stand against the wiles of the devil. Then verse 12, who do we battle? Principalities, powers, powers. rulers of the dark of this world, spiritual wicks and hosts in high places. You've got elite divisions of demonic armies who have no authority or power. They're taking people captive. They're, they're bringing hell on earth into people's lives. They don't have time. I That's told right. that inmate, those inmates last week, hey, you spend time in the Word, you, you're praying your arsenal for I'm busy, Brother Mel. I said, well, so is the devil. I yes. Said, I said, you go to the toilet? Yeah. Sit on a toilet and do. Don't tell me you don't Amen. have time. Amen. That's right. That's Driving right. in a car, anywhere, Everything. you have time. That's Taking right. a shower, you have time. Exactly. My you have right time. Right about have them in my pocket. I was just walking along. I'd pull it out. Yeah. And you, it's amazing how many scriptures you can learn in a day with no time, time. taken yes, on it. Yes, that's right. Extra time, but using it right for Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Now, if Praise somebody God. wants to reach you, how can they? Can you give them the, 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 oh, the, sure. the website, everything? My website is www.melnovak.com, M-E-L-N-O-V-A-K.com. And go to the warfare section and download that arsenal prayer. You start praying it daily. Amen. And all at once you're suited up and booted up, and the devil can't get a toehold, foothold, which becomes a stronghold, in 2 Corinthians 10, 4. But you've got to do it. You've got to be dressed for the battle. Uh, I've been in ministry, like I say, 34 years. Last year was the worst I've ever seen people getting attacked. Yes. Most people don't pray till they need something. That's not, that's not how it goes. Yes. It's like prayer invades the impossible. In Luke 1, 37, nothing's impossible with God. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, I always look forward to my doll singing Amen. and sharing the Word of God in music that way too. So, hon, would you bless us? 
with what, uh, will go on and on in our hearts. I could forget a sermon, but I could never forget a song. That <laughs> message is rang on and on and on. Well, I so had bless to. us again, babe. No matter what kind of a body you have here, we get a brand new one there. Oh, we, yes. Whoa, I need that. Glory. <laughs> Me too. My, my grandma <laughs> had her leg amputated when I was two years old. She was living with us there, and grandma was one of the most lustrous people that I know. <laughs> the pastor kept saying anybody that came in for counseling, he'd just send them over to Grandma Amy. And she would cheer them up and get them ready. And she only had that one leg, and she sat in that wheelchair, but she says, when I get to heaven, I'm going to outrun all of you. Amen. <laughs> so this chair is gone. I'm never going to sit down again. Amen. And uh, just so happy because of her life in Jesus Christ. Joy. Well, I'm so thrilled that we have Mel. Mel's one of the biggest stars there is <laughs> on this. You probably have seen him so many times on the screens, and he's played with, I mean, <laughs> Chuck Norris, uh, Bruce Lee, I mean, those are the best of the best. You have to tangle with those guys, huh? 
Yeah, I did. Bruce was <laughs> unbelievable. He was the best. He'll never be another That's one like right. him. That's right. And uh, but you you fought him and things in the movies anyway. When when uh, you always you, had the villain roles, the tough roles. I, I always get the villain roles. My mother used <laughs> but how? to say, "You're too nice." Why do you play those roles? I said, "Mom, look at my face. I got a villain's face." <laughs> oh no, you don't. But you know, I met him. Is that him. her fault? I met, no, my mom. <laughs> you know, good thing my mom prayed. They were going to amputate my leg from here down when I was seven years old. Mm. And she wouldn't let him. She's, I'm praying. The Amen. doctor says, lady, he's going to die in 12 hours. No, he isn't. I ran 100 yards in 96. Whoa! I did fights and stunts because a mother prayed. Yes. Amen. And then I had uh, surgery on my throat 10 times in 10 years where I couldn't talk seven weeks. Yep. She prayed and fasted seven years. Thank you, Jesus. So, prayer. And then you praise and praying in expectation, oh, Psalm 62, 5. Yes. And, uh, you know, I was an athlete. That's why I, I hung out with the stunt people. And I was one of the few actors that did his own. And there's some rock and roll fights. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, but it was, uh, it was a blessing. Uh, there, was, there was a movie that I wouldn't take the role unless they took God's name in vain not, because I don't, I don't do that. No. I tell Amen. them, God doesn't have a last name. He wouldn't be them. Mm-hmm. That's right. And, and he said to me, wait a minute, you're going to kill seven people, and you don't want to use God's name in vain. I said, that's right. Mm -hmm. He ended up praying for his mother, led the wardrobe girl to Christ, and Ooh. another guy. But I would not do it. You, I've lost roles, because I, I raised my two daughters. You know, their mother left us, and... Uh, uh, I, I, I wouldn't do nudity. I wouldn't do anything. Mm. I play a villain, but I die in the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a Christian, we want we know what death leads to. Yeah, you know it, it's an awesome promise. See, God's promises in Second Corinthians one twenty, yes and amen. Mm -hmm. Whatever promise is there for you, look for the I wills. I will. I just gave those inmates Jeremiah thirty verse seventeen. I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds. You got walking wounded everywhere, brother. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. At least where I go in Skid Row and prisons. And uh, God heals the broken heart and binds up their wounds yes, he in does. Psalm yes, 147, he 3. That's right. So uh, he's done it with me. He doesn't show partiality or favoritism. Romans 2, 11, Acts 10, 34. And it, it's a thing of, this has nothing to do with religion or denominations. No. Nothing. No. Well, you know, Personal. I was watching some time ago uh, Chuck Norris, uh, uh, they did one of their big shows uh, there and they cut it and, they, and because when he did one of the kicks, he, he made contact with yeah. the guy and they that cut happens. it. He says, man, I'm sorry. You know, I'm he sorry. is he a says, Christian oh, too. Oh, Chuck Norris is now very is, strong. See, his mother, uh, he wasn't, when I did eye for an eye with him and uh, so his mother asked me to pray and he eventually did come to the Lord. Yes, he did. Wow. Yeah. That was hey. through you. Prayer to me is more powerful than an atomic bomb. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Prayerlessness, powerlessness. Mm -hmm. Glory. But you see, it's dangerous taking the roles because, especially when you're playing that type. But when you talked about jail, we think that prison jail would be safe when you go in there. No. My uncle got a call calling, he felt, into the prison ministry. The first time he went, there, there was a break in to the chapel, yeah. and they held uh -huh. them hostage for 12 hours. Yeah. And uh, they were threatening to kill them, throw them out one by one, and all of that. And you think when you go in there, you're just safe. Uh, I, I did a ministry, not only in jail, but in Lewiston, Idaho, with Elvis Presley's youth pastors as my pastor. And I was youth and, and music pastor there. But we went into the juvenile halls. We did this for the whole time I was there. But we saw almost 100% of those kids receive Jesus Christ Amen. as their Amen. personal Savior because of that. There's such a ministry there, but that's not the ones they want. My mom did the... Uh, nursing home ministry. Nobody wants to do nursing home ministry. I mean, that stinks. It's all of this stuff. But mom won hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of those people to Jesus Christ. So yeah. he can take you into the things like he has Mel yeah. into yes, these he can. things here. You know, David, it says Jesus in God's Christ. word that we're all, we're all ministers. That's all right. It says that. And it says that we are all called to do this. Mm -hmm. Matthew 20, 28. That's right. Amen. We'll look at that just before there, too. I have to sign a paper if I'm taking the hostage. They don't make deals. Yes. And okay. I, I've been, uh, they had two stabbings in a church service last year in mm. 12 days. 
I had a service three days after that, and I told them, anybody comes at me with a shank, I'm going to take your eye out, and I'm going to repent. <laughs> Once they see what you've done in the movies. They know. How many movies? I've done 30 starring, co-starring, plus others. Well, that's okay. Wendy, in our last minute here, would you lead people to Jesus Christ like Mel has been doing it uh, through his life? You know what? I'm going to ask Mel to do that. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mel. All you have to do is believe, Acts 16, 31. You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll be saved. But you've got to confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you were saved, Romans 10, 9. Nobody's turned away, 2 Peter 3, 9, 1 Timothy 2, 4. God wants all to repent. You think about that. Joel 2, 32, Romans 10, 13, Acts 2, 2, 21. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Amen. Now, if you've done that before, you could be backslidden. And God gave the believer, 1 John 1, 9. You confess that sin, he's faithful and just. So repeat this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, Dear Dear Heavenly Heavenly Father, Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I come to you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. You said in your word, you said in your word, word. I confess with my mouth, I I confess with my my mouth, mouth. the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ. and believe in my heart, I believe in my My heart, heart. to raise him from the dead, to raise him from the dead, I will be saved. I will be saved. I'm doing that now. I'm doing it now. So I know I am saved now. I know I'm saved. I know I'm saved. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe that you're the Son of God. I believe you're the Son of God. You died for my sins. You died for my sins. Three days later resurrected. Three days later resurrected. I ask forgiveness in my sins. I ask forgiveness, forgiveness for my sins. And I repent of my sins. And I, I repent of my sins. sins. And I thank you and praise you. I thank you and I praise you. That I have you. eternal life here and now. I have eternal life, life here and now. now. Not just when I die. Not just, Not just when, when I die. die. For acceptance of me. The acceptance, acceptance of, of me. me. Just as I am. Just, just as, as I am. Where I am. Where I am. Amen. 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 I'm a child of God. God. The living thank God. You. Oh, you're part of my family that way too. We got a the most beautiful family in the world. It's big all Amen. over the world. Hallelujah. Remember, Jesus loves you. We love you. Oh, CN loves you. Loves you. Have a lovable week. God bless you. Oh, CN. OCN is there to help you. On God's word, we truly stand. Working always together. We're holding up each other's hands. OCN is there to help you. On God's word, we truly stand. Going forward to preach the gospel. Master Blast.